What do you get when you take the tastes of Louisiana's best kitchens, mix in the sounds of New Orleans and Cajun country, and serve it up in a fantastic outdoor setting? Well, you've just cooked up the perfect weekend in June. Welcome to the best. <laughs> it's Michael Arnone's 17th Annual Crawfish Fest in Sussex County, New Jersey. A three-day extravaganza of food, music, and fun that helps young and old celebrate the Louisiana experience. Started off as a little party. Couldn't find crawfish and jambalaya in New Jersey. So I had a little crawfish boil and uh, had 70 people, 300 pounds of crawfish, and they just had a great time. This is 17 years, our fourth year at Sussex County Fairgrounds. The Crawfish Fest boasts an unlimited menu of down-home bayou dishes, including jambalaya, alligator sausage, and of course, a seemingly endless supply of crawfish flown in from Louisiana live and boiled right on the festival grounds. Wild Bell. I cooked the crawfish. See they're floating now, they're just about ready to get down. I'm gonna let them simmer for a little while. Suck up something out of spike. Wild Bill's been running the crawfish boiling process for the past 16 years, courtesy of the crawfish rig. He sees to it that the crowds enjoy Louisiana's favorite crustaceans with the right amount of heat and the right amount of spice. Everyone seems to have their favorite foods at the fest. Crawfish, just plain old crawfish. You mean I have to share? <laughs> Is that not good? First, you break off the you break off the head. Some people suck the head, but not everybody. I'm not because it's burning my lips, but I'll do it just for the camera. Then you got this. You start with the top ring, you peel off the top ring, it's very similar to a shrimp. You get it there where you can grip it. This is where you pinch the tail. You get that tail a little pinch, it'll come right out. Some people just eat it right out the shell, but I like to devein it. That's a devein bug. Very easy. Highly addictive stuff. I've got my parents cooking jambalaya. They'll cook about 5,000 plates of jambalaya over the course of two days. Best I've ever had. What's the story? Is it a family recipe or something? Yes, yeah, it's an old family recipe, and if you want, you have to marry into the family. It's farm-raised alligator, 20% uh, pork, 80% alligator because it's so lean. It's made in uh, Louisiana, and they truck it up for this festival. Four red beans and rice. An oyster po' boy, we'll take some oysters and we'll spread them out on our loaf here and got our fixings, we'll dress it up. A little lettuce, tomatoes, some pickles. Big mouthful, big mouthful. And there's plenty of beer and soft drinks to wash it down. We've even got lemonades and smoothies available. And vendors spotlight their great products at booths on the festival site so folks can take home a piece of the experience. Oh, the music, the music's fabulous. What would a Louisiana-style festival be without music? Michael Arnone's Crawfish Festival boasts the greatest names in Louisiana music. This year's talent includes Marsha Ball, Little Feet, The Radiators, Steve Riley and the Mamu Playboys, The Rebirth Brass Band, Henry Butler, Papa Molly, The Creole Cowboys, and more. The festival has four stages for enjoying this year's entertainment. The fantastic main stage where headlining performers and sponsors can reach the capacity crowd. The 12,000 square foot dance hall where fest goers dance their cares away. The all new kids tent where musicians and storytellers entertain children of all ages. And last but not least, the Delta Music Experience Pavilion stage. Michael Arnone, I've known him for quite a few years. We always come to the, the Crawfish Festival and uh, we've had a couple tents and now he has this brand new pavilion, this blues pavilion. And so he offered to have a Delta Music Experience Pavilion. The purpose of Delta Music Experience is to showcase New Orleans musicians and musicians of the Delta. And since Katrina, we're doing anything we can to bring them to the forefront. Hi, it's Mike Hoffman. I'm with High Grade Beverage. We're the uh, Anheuser-Busch wholesaler in the area. We've been a sponsor of the Crawfish Festival. It's a great event, great promotion. My favorite part of the fest is seeing all these people enjoy themselves. It's a great opportunity to get out here and have some fun. My name is Thor Selden. I'm a senior marketing consultant with Clear Channel Radio, Tri-State. Michael and I developed a nice relationship, and I'm very happy the way things have gone. Uh, 103.7 WNNJ, which is a male-skewed rock station, we decided that we would give away about 320 tickets. The nice thing was we had our own area. Michael supplied us with a place called The Grove, which is a group of picnic tables. Um, 
where our listeners got to come. And then each listener, we had our own tickets uh, embossed with our radio station. So if you had that, you got a free thing of jambalaya. With three distinct on-site campgrounds to choose from, from the RVs to the party animals set up to the quiet family section. Fest goers are encouraged to make a weekend of it by bringing family and friends and taking full advantage of the campground's facilities. If you have a camper or if you choose to camp uh, in a tent or something of that variety, you, uh, Mike has a, a special out there. I believe it's a three-day ticket uh, that includes camping on the fairgrounds. We have 20 amp hookups, we have 30 amp hookups, and we have 50 amp hookups. So we can accommodate anything from uh, a tent all the way up to these large RVs uh, with two air conditioners on them and electric heat, etc. And speaking of families, all kids under 14 get into the fest absolutely free. But hey, whether you're a kid or just a kid at heart, the Crawfish Fest delivers the food, music, and fun to keep fest goers coming back year after year. Just ask them. We love the Crawfish Fest! Yay! You come up here and uh, listen to the music, eat the great food, and watch the people. And it's a wonderful thing to do. It's one, I mean, we've been coming for about 10 years, uh, 11 years, yes. My daughter is 12. She comes every year on her birthday, and we have a wonderful time. As you can see, everybody gets decked out, dances a lot, has a wonderful time. So come on out and enjoy, eat crawfish. The food, the beer, and the music. Crawfish Fest 2006. Everything, the atmosphere, the artists, the food. I love coming here every year. This is my ninth year here. I love it. Food. That's not a vendor I haven't hit. I come back here because I like eating alligator sausage and I like funky music and it's good times. We'd like to thank all this year's sponsors for making this year's Crawfish Festival the best one ever. We also want to thank our crawfish crew, the fairground staff, the vendors, and everyone who works hard to bring Louisiana to New Jersey. For more information or the latest news on Michael Arnone's Crawfish Fest, log on to crawfishfest.com. That's it, and we'll see y'all next year.